When it comes to insects, you can't be careful enough. In population, they are the most numerous group of living beings on the planet, with estimates suggesting that up to 10 quintillion individual insects may be alive at any given time. You may have been lucky not to cross paths with the deadly insects, but you should know them and run when you see them. They can spread diseases and are sometimes poisonous enough to the job of killing themselves. What kind of insects are these? Let's take you through a list of 15 of the world's deadliest insects on the planet. 1. The Kissing Bugs The name of this bug sounds sweet, but that may be the only sweet thing about it. If you think you'd be getting a sweet kiss from this bug, you're wrong. The Kissing Bugs, also known as triatamine bugs or assassin bugs, are a group of blood-sucking insects dangerous enough to transmit a parasitic disease called the Chagas disease. Trust us, you definitely don't want this disease. They are called the kissing bug because they tend to bite humans around the mouth or eyes while they sleep, and this is because they love the warmth and carbon dioxide of a person's breath. How crazy! The bite of a kissing bug itself is usually painless and may go unnoticed, but when the kissing bug bites a human, the creepiest of things happen. It defecates near the bite wound and a parasite enters the body through the wound. It can sometimes also get in through the eyes, mouth, or nose, so keep everything close. The consequences start with an acute phase of the disease that typically lasts for several weeks or months and may go unnoticed as symptoms are usually mild or absent. But the chronic phase can last for many years, during which time the parasite can cause serious damage to the heart, digestive system, and nervous system. If left untreated, Chagas disease can be really life-threatening. The good news is that you can control the kissing bug population through insecticide spraying and improve housing and sanitation in rural areas where the bugs are prevalent. Seriously, keep things clean or you might regret it. And if you live in an area where kissing bugs are found, protect yourself by using bed nets and insecticides and keeping your home well sealed to prevent bugs from entering. The sad part is, two, Africanized honeybees. Africanized honeybees, also known as killer bees, are a product of African and European honeybees. These killer bees are quite aggressive. They are even more aggressive than the European honeybees. These bees have been known to chase humans and animals for up to a quarter of a mile if they feel threatened. Like seriously, don't mess with them. Killer bees are more likely to swarm and attack than other honeybees. Though they are not more venomous than other bees, their strength is in their swarm. Their swarms are more dangerous because they contain more bees, meaning more venom. You don't want that, or do you? Stay clear, young man. If a person is stung by a large number of Africanized honeybees or killer bees, they can experience severe reactions, including anaphylactic shock and even death. So, take precautions when working around bees, Wear protective clothing, move slowly and calmly, and avoid disturbing a beehive because we don't want to console anyone. Killer bees were introduced to Brazil in the 1950s to increase honey production. Unfortunately, the bees escaped and have since spread to many other countries in the Americas. Though they are better adapted to survive in tropical climates than European honeybees, you might not like this. But so far, killer bees have been responsible for several human deaths in the Americas, but their kills are more than that of dogs, lightning, or snake bites per year. 3. Brown Recluse Spiders There you have it. Not all spiders are harmless. The brown recluse spider is a venomous spider species found primarily in the United States, particularly in the southern and midwestern states. Sorry if that's where you are, but here's what they look like. They are known for their distinct violin-shaped marking on their head and thorax, which is why they are sometimes called the violin spider or fiddleback spider. They are typically light to medium brown in color and are usually around 6 to 20 mm in length. They have long, thin legs and their body is covered with fine hairs. They are called recluses because they hide in dark and undisturbed areas, such as inside boxes, under furniture, and cluttered storage areas. Here is why you wouldn't want the brown recluse spider anywhere. Its bite contains a toxin called sphingomyelinase D, which can cause tissue death and other symptoms. When bitten by a brown recluse, you may initially experience only mild pain or no symptoms. 
However, the bite site may become red, swollen, and blistered over time, sorry. Then the tissue around the bite will become necrotic or dead and slough off, leaving an ulcer that can take weeks or even months to heal. In severe cases, the venom can cause systemic symptoms such as fever, nausea, joint pain, and in rare cases, even death. But brown recluse spiders are not aggressive and will typically only bite if threatened or cornered, so stay away. You'll be safe. Again, not all brown recluse bites result in severe symptoms, and some people may not even realize they have been bitten, leading to delayed or inappropriate treatment. 4. Army Ants The name should scare you already. Army ants are voracious predators that hunt in large groups. They are truly an army. This is because they exhibit cooperative behavior to accomplish tasks. For example, during a hunt, some ants form a barricade to prevent prey from escaping, while others attack and capture the prey. They are known to eat other insects, spiders, small reptiles, and even small mammals. But they don't stay in one spot and are rather nomadic, meaning they don't have a permanent nest. Instead, they move from one location to another in search of food. The entire colony, including the queen and her brood, moves together as a group. And when the army ants stop to rest or hunt, they build a temporary nest called a bivouac. The bivouac is made of living ants that link their bodies to create a protective structure around the queen and her brood. They are so numerous that they can have up to several million ants colonies. These colonies are made up of different types of ants with different roles, including soldiers, workers, and reproductive ants. Their massive numbers, painful bites, and ability to swarm and overwhelm predators make them even more fearsome. They are also known to be carriers of diseases and parasites, which can harm humans and animals. 5. Sandfly Talking about living torture, these insects will give you the creep. Sandflies are so small, typically measuring between 1.5 and 3.5 millimeters in length, making it difficult for you to see them during their attacks. They have hairy bodies, which help them to trap moisture and cling to surfaces, and their bites are known to be very painful, which can cause redness, swelling, and itching. The bites can also transmit diseases, including leishmaniasis, a parasitic disease affecting humans and animals. We can consider some flies to be basically little insect vampires, feeding on the blood of animals and, yes, including humans. The female sandfly needs a blood meal to produce eggs, and she finds it to the animal's detriment. Butterflies have relatively short lifespans, so desperate days are large and numerous because they continually reproduce, multiplying their number. These sandflies are dangerous insects found in tropical and subtropical regions worldwide, with more than 900 species documented. Best convenient for them, they prefer damp and dark habitats, such as forests, deserts, and riverbanks, where they can find moist soil or vegetation. So there you have it. You know just where not to be to avoid these deadly creatures. 6. Botfly If you do not want to experience pain in ways you cannot explain, then this insect is a must to avoid, and laying eggs right underneath your skin should make you cringe. The botfly is dangerous because it can cause painful and potentially serious skin infections in humans and animals. While the adult botfly does not bite or feed on blood, its larvae are surely not the innocent ones since it parasitizes humans and other mammals. Here is how it goes. The female botfly deposits eggs on the skin of a host, often through the bite of a mosquito or other insect. When the host licks the bite site or scratches it, the warmth and moisture of the host's skin stimulate the botfly larvae to hatch and burrow into the host's skin. Once inside the host's skin, the botfly larvae feed on tissue fluids and grow for several weeks, causing a raised and painful lesion or boil-like sore. As the larvae mature, they eventually emerge from the skin and drop to the ground to pupate into adults. In other words, the eggs are laid on the skin of a host, typically a mammal, including humans, and the host hatches the egg by simply touching or scratching them, and then larvae burrow into the skin to live and feed on the host's tissue for several weeks. How creepy. While botfly infections are generally not life-threatening, they can be extremely uncomfortable and cause secondary bacterial infections, scarring, and other complications. Botflies are found in Central and South America and parts of Africa and Southeast Asia. They prefer tropical and subtropical regions where they can find their hosts. Adult botflies are stout, hairy flies, 
usually brown or gray in color, with a wingspan of about 1 to 2 centimeters, while the larvae are small, white, or yellowish, and look like small worms with hooked mouth parts. They can infest many animals, including humans, dogs, cats, cattle, and rodents. Each botfly species typically has a specific host range. So do you feel pain, itching, swelling, redness, or have a boil-like sore? That may be a botfly underneath your skin right there, seven, yellow jacket. These are one of the most aggressive insects on the planet. Yellow jackets are known for their aggressive behavior, especially when they feel threatened or when their nests are disturbed. You don't want to be the disturbance as they can become agitated and sting multiple times, which can be very painful and potentially dangerous. Their stings can cause allergic reactions in some people. Unfortunately, you know, it really only takes one sting to, to induce a, a potential allergic reaction. Ranging from mild symptoms, such as itching and hives, to severe reactions, including anaphylaxis, a life-threatening allergic reaction that requires immediate medical attention. Their nests are often built in or near human habitation, which can increase the likelihood of encounters between humans and the wasps. If the nest is disturbed, the yellow jackets can become very aggressive and sting people. Now, how do you get out of this one? To make things worse, yellow jackets are social insects that live in colonies with many individuals. Suppose someone accidentally disturbs a nest or steps on a yellow jacket while walking. In that case, it can trigger an attack by multiple wasps, increasing the likelihood of being stung multiple times. And trust us, you want to avoid getting into this situation if you have a doctor nearby. Yellow jackets are found in most parts of the world except Antarctica. They typically build their nests in the ground, but can also nest in trees, shrubs, or man-made structures. They are usually black and yellow in color and are about half an inch long and have a distinctive thin waist. They can have two pairs of wings and can fly rapidly. Now that is so much for a dangerous insect. Eight, eight, bullet ant. This species of ant found in Central and South America is known to have one of the most painful stings of any insect in the world. Its sting is said to feel like being shot with a bullet, hence its name. The pain can last for up to 24 hours, and people have described it as intense, burning, and throbbing. Bullet ants are large, measuring up to 1 inch, 2.5 centimeters in length. They are black or reddish-brown in color and have a distinctive flattened and angular appearance. They live in colonies containing up to 700 workers, with a strict social hierarchy, with the queen at the top and workers at the bottom. Here, Male ants are present only for mating and die soon after. While bullet ants are not typically aggressive and will generally only sting if provoked or threatened, their large size and potent venom make them a potential danger to humans and other animals. 9. Bed Bug Where do you feel safe the most? In your bed, all covered up, right? But that is also the safe spot for what can turn out to be your worst nightmare underscore the bed bug. This name is not just a title but is well-deserved and here is why this is so. While you can avoid other insects by staying behind closed doors, the case is not the same with the bed bug because it resides right in your bed with you. Bed bugs have been a long-standing terror to humanity. And if you don't know them, this question is whether you are actually from planet Earth. These small, reddish-brown parasitic insects feed on the blood of humans and other warm-blooded animals. They are excellent hitchhikers who can easily travel from one place to another by hitching a ride on clothing, luggage, or furniture. And once in your house, there is no stopping them. And mind you, they don't die quick. They can even live for months without feeding, making them difficult to get rid of. The stubborn pests have also developed resistance to many common insecticides over time. They are attracted to the carbon dioxide that humans exhale, which is why they often bite people while they sleep. They are most active at night, being nocturnal, feeding on the blood of humans and animals, and their bites can cause itching, redness, and swelling. Some people may also develop an allergic reaction to the bites, leading to more severe symptoms such as difficulty breathing, hives, or anaphylaxis. In addition to the physical effects, bed bugs can cause significant psychological distress. Bed bug check now, which drives my husband a little bit crazy because Infestations can be difficult and expensive to eliminate, 
and the constant fear of being bitten can cause anxiety, sleeplessness, and other emotional problems. They can infest homes, hotels, hospitals, and even public transportation, making them a pain in the neck. And some people may even develop an allergic reaction to bed bug bites, which can cause itching, swelling, and redness. While bed bugs are a nuisance, they are not known to transmit diseases to humans. But either way, you still don't want them in your home. 10. Black Fly This one will only leave the list when considering dangerous insects that are a nuisance to the world. The black flies, also known as buffalo gnats, are small biting flies found in many parts of the world, particularly in areas with flowing water such as rivers and streams. Did you say you had a river nearby? They are a nuisance to humans and animals and are known for their painful and persistent bites, which can cause swelling, itching, and in some cases, allergic reactions. Black flies have sharp, saw-like mandibles to slice through skin and feed on blood. Imagine their teeth on your skin. Their bites can be very painful. They are also a nuisance to livestock and wildlife, as they can cause significant discomfort and even death in some cases. Their bites are also known to transmit diseases such as river blindness and a parasitic infection called leukocytozoonosis in animals. These diseases can be debilitating or even fatal if left untreated. 11. Hornet This insect is known for its large size and aggressive behavior, with the largest species of hornet in the world being the Asian giant hornet, also known as the killer hornet. It can grow up to 2 inches long and has a wingspan of over 3 inches, Hornets are predatory insects that feed on other insects, such as bees and flies, as well as nectar and sap. They have powerful mandibles that they use to catch and kill their prey. They can also repeatedly sting their prey to inject venom and immobilize it. Their venom contains a powerful cocktail of chemicals, including acetylcholine, histamine, and serotonin, that can cause pain, swelling, and even anaphylactic shock in some people. One thing that makes the hornets really deadly is their ability to sting repeatedly, multiplying their potent venom and increasing the attack's severe pain and allergic reactions. Again, hornets, in general, are larger than other types of wasps and have longer stingers, which allows them to penetrate thick clothing and even some types of protective gear. As common to these deadly creatures, they are highly territorial and will attack aggressively if they feel their nest is threatened or perceive a threat to their colony. 12. Black Widow Spiders Does the name interest you? This one tops the list among the few venomous spiders in the world. In fact, the Black Widow Spider is one of the most notorious spiders in the world. Interestingly, it gets its name from the belief that the female spider devours the male after mating, although this is rare in the wild. The female black widow spider is larger than the male and has a distinctive red hourglass-shaped marking on her abdomen. Spiders are found worldwide, but the most common species in North America is the southern black widow. But here's what makes them really dangerous. The venom of the black widow spider is a potent neurotoxin that can cause muscle pain, cramps, spasms, and in severe cases, respiratory failure, and even death. The female black widow spiders are the most dangerous, as they have larger venom glands than males and are more likely to bite. Despite their dangerous reputation, black widow spiders typically only bite humans when they feel threatened, such as when they are accidentally disturbed or trapped. But then... They're just insects, prone to miscalculating anyone to be a threat. We're just saying! Furthermore, black widow spiders are nocturnal and typically build their webs in dark, sheltered areas, such as under rocks, hollow trees, or sheds. Interestingly, the black widow spiders are cannibalistic, meaning they will sometimes eat other black widow spiders if food is scarce. 13. Giant Japanese Hornet This is the world's largest hornet, and you can tell this from its name. This hornet is native to Japan and other parts of East Asia. Known for its terrifying size, the queen of the giant Japanese hornet can grow up to 2 inches in length, while workers can grow up to 1.5 inches in length. This makes them one of the largest species of wasps in the world. But their size is not all they bring to the table. The venom of the giant Japanese hornet contains a potent neurotoxin called mandarotoxin, which can cause tissue damage, pain, and in severe cases, death. 
A single sting from a Japanese hornet can be extremely painful and potentially life-threatening, especially if the person stung is allergic to the venom. This insect is known to kill about 40 people per year. The giant Japanese hornet is a skilled hunter who can fly up to 25 miles, 40 kilometers per hour. They often hunt honeybees and other insects and can decimate entire hives in just a few hours. Talk of the deadliest. When threatened, the giant Japanese hornet will release a pheromone that signals other hornets to attack. This can lead to mass attacks on humans and other animals, which can be fatal. They can also get really aggressive when their nest or hive is disturbed and are capable of stinging repeatedly. You don't want that. So the summary is in one sentence. Avoid this insect. 14. The Bark Scorpion The Bark Scorpion remains one of the most dangerous creatures in the insect world. The Bark Scorpion is a species native to the southwestern United States and northern Mexico, considered to be one of the most dangerous scorpions in North America due to the potency of its venom. Bark scorpions are typically light brown or tan, with slender bodies and long, thin tails. They can grow up to around three inches long, including their tails. They are also nocturnal creatures and are most active at night when they visit their prey. Do you still feel sleepy? Bark scorpions are known for their painful stings, which can be particularly dangerous for children, elderly individuals, and people with weakened immune systems. The bark scorpion's venom contains a potent cocktail of neurotoxins that can cause a range of symptoms, including pain, numbness, tingling, muscle spasms, and respiratory distress. In severe cases, the venom can cause paralysis, convulsions, and even death. This one tops the list of the deadliest insects in the world, and the reason is not so far-fetched. They raid homes like they are part of human fate. They're quite a nuisance wherever they are found. Apart from the annoying buzz sound it uses to wreck, it's the victim's sleep and responsible for the most deaths on our list. Falling among the insect vampires, you can spot all swelled up on the wall after satisfying its appetite with your blood. Very crazy stuff. Okay, let's explain this better. The Anopheles mosquito is a type of mosquito that is very dangerous due to its transmitting malaria, a potentially life-threatening disease. Malaria is caused by a parasite that infects the red blood cells and is transmitted to humans through the bite of an infected Anopheles mosquito. The disease can cause fever, chills, headache, muscle aches, and fatigue. In severe cases, it can lead to organ failure and even death. Anopheles mosquitoes are found in many parts of the world, including Sub-Saharan Africa, Asia, and South America, where malaria is endemic and preventing their bites is the most effective way to avoid contracting malaria. So avoid this insect if you don't want to fall sick with malaria occasionally. What are your opinions about these deadly insects? Are there other more deadly insects you think should have made a list? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below.